today will be an important class and an interesting class, I guess. Okay. Huh? So you got you really what happened? Uh, okay, Amir, but I really hope that you can fix it so you could be included in the class. Okay, now in today's lecture, we're going to study a new word, which is species. As most of you were telling me last time that species is something related to like animals, different types of species, different types of animals. All of you are correct. Okay, but in yeah. order in order to define species, in order to define species, you should know about two things. Okay, and these are here. Can you read it, all of you? Read in your heart. Heart or mind? Yes, teacher. It is any way you want, except in mouth. Okay, did you understand, guys? Yes, yeah. All of you, all of you. I want you, I want all of you to read this, please. Done, teacher. Okay, now see here. Can you see the word species are organisms which can breed? First of all, this word breed, what does this word breed mean? They can produce uh, reproduction. New, yeah, reproduction. Bingo, bingo, everyone. Breed means reproducing the new babies, correct? Mm -hmm. So this is the word. Yes. This is fancy. Okay, listen. In biology, this happens always, in chemistry also. There will be simple concepts, but they will use fancy terms. I don't know why. Okay. So, breed means reproduction. So, species, first of all, species are organisms which can breed. Which can breed, breed together, together successfully. To, to together breed. successfully. Okay. Now, and the offspring, what does this word offspring mean? Child. Uh, child. Uh, child also can breed successfully. Bingo. Offspring means children's their children's their babies are called offsprings in biology okay and the offsprings they produce can also breed does it make sense successfully yes. I know an example okay now just wait just wait a moment i'm going to come back to you okay now here species should have two things they could breed successfully and their babies could also breed this point is clear thumbs up for everyone yes, yes. So what does this yeah. mean? What does this word mean? Breed together successfully. What does that mean? Like, hmm. like uh, they hmm. shouldn't have problem making. Yeah, they, they don't have any problem in their breed. Okay, let's see. Let's see if you're correct. Let's go to that the next. So they're from the same time. Okay, okay. That's, that's a new one. Okay, so breed, mate, and produce offspring. This is the meaning of breed and offspring mean children. In case you don't know, I have written. So, do you agree? Do you agree that humans are species according to definition? Yes. Frog yes. is a species according to definition? Yes. Yeah. Monkey yes. is a species according Excellent job. Now, what does breed successfully mean? Here, guys. Now, watch this one. So, first of all, do, have you heard about the word fertile offspring? Yes. Okay. Yes. For, okay, listen now. Fertile offspring. Please pay attention because all the terms in the next class, Ayan going to answer. If Ayan will do it right, all of you get the point. If he didn't do right, the point is going to be deducted. So, listen. Fertile offspring means that they can breed successfully. Remind this mm -hmm. one. Fertile okay. means... Successful yes. offspring, children's. Okay. Now, see here. Please listen this one carefully. Not listen, like, see this one carefully. Okay. Now, here, for sometimes in organisms, for male, okay, for male, and we have a female. In order to produce an offspring, we need a male and female. All of the organisms in the world. Okay. Do you agree? Yes. 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 Now, for males, we have special signs, okay, in biology. It is represented like this. And for female, they are represented like that. Yeah. Okay, maybe you have seen somewhere in airports at the toilets, okay? Now, male and, female, and male, male and female, when they come together, okay, they will produce baby. a baby. A baby. Okay? Yes, a baby or an offspring, okay? So, a baby going to be produced. Now, what happened if, now this baby could be male or this baby could be female, isn't it? Do you all agree? Yes. Excellent. Yes. yes. Now, if this baby, okay, if this baby can also produce a baby, okay, 
if yeah. this baby can produce yes. a baby, remember, if they can produce a baby, then this is called as fertile offspring. So fertile offspring means that if this baby can produce a baby, this means it is a fertile offspring. This means a breed is successful. Does it make sense? So breed yes. successful doesn't yes. mean, okay, the one which you are thinking, breed successful doesn't mean that maybe if a baby is born, let's suppose, let's suppose it doesn't have an eye or it doesn't have a nose. No, this is not a, this doesn't mean a successful breed. No, no, successful breed means a baby can produce a baby, whatever type of baby it is, okay? Yes. Thumbs up for this. Please show me thumbs up. Then I will go forward. All of them. Thumbs you. up. Yes. Paha, thumbs up. Lamin, thumbs up. Okay. Mary. Okay. Ayan, no thumbs up. Only, okay. <laughs> okay. Now, let's come. Now, this means if fertile offspring is clear, then what is infertile offspring? Infertile offspring uh, means, then again, we have a male. Okay. And then we have a female here. Okay. Can you all see? Maybe it's red color. So, okay. Yes. Male and a female. Okay, let and me write it. Female. The okay. offspring cannot uh, breed successfully. Okay, yeah. let's let's see, let's see. So over here, what what's this what's the sign? Please remember the signs. Signs are important in biology. Okay. Now both of them, they're gonna breed. They will produce a baby. Listen, male and female, they're gonna mate. They will produce a baby. Okay. So but baby cannot produce a baby. B Y. Okay. Now this baby again will be a female or a male. Okay. But this, uh, baby, but this, but baby, this baby cannot produce not. a baby. Okay. This is called as infertile offspring. Cannot produce a baby. Is it clear to all of you? Please show me thumbs up if this point is clear up till here. Thumbs up. Yes. Thumbs up, Fahad, Mary. Excellent. Amir. Okay, Ayan, no thumbs up. Lamin? Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Okay, excellent job. So this point is clear. Now come here. Now here is an example of infertile, infertile, infertile. I'm focusing infertile offsprings. Sometimes what happens, the horse, okay, this is horse and donkey, they're going to come together, they will mate, and they will produce an offspring. Horse and do donkey belong to different species. Do you agree? Yeah. Yes. yes. Okay. But sometimes yes. they mate together. They mate together and they will produce an offspring, their baby, and the name of the baby is called mule. Okay? Mule. But mule can mule. never, can never produce his baby. So this mule is called as infertile offspring. Is this point clear? Oh. Okay? Yes. Yeah. Sure. Bad light. Thumbs up for this so if i ask you if i ask you that what is species species means that organism which can breed itself and their babies can also breed those things comes into the species thumbs up for that wait did you say again species are organisms which can breed successfully and their babies and, and their, their offsprings also can breed Excellent job. Successful. Now, what guys, one thing I want from you. I know that I like you have used your own words in this definition, but in IGCSE, you have to write the exact definition, like offspring and breed. These are two common words which you have to use in the okay, so species again. Species are organisms. Okay, these are the organisms which can breed. Breed means they can produce babies. Successfully means that their babies can also produce babies. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Now, should I move on? Mm -hmm. yes. Okay. So here is it. So mule is not a species because it can't produce offspring and doesn't fit in the definition of species. Can I say that? Yes. yes. Good job. Now, here is the thing. Please keep this thing in mind. And now from here onwards, the important topics. History of classification. Now, and naming the methods. Have you seen like biologists when you go, okay, before I go to here, let, let me define the history. Here is the famous personality. Can you see how yeah. lovely he is? Oh, yes. <laughs> yes, he is the scientist. He, if you really want to know that who was that major scientist who made this torturous subject and we have to hey, learn in the morning, wake up and learn about classification, he is the person, okay? So the name yes. of the person, remember the name, remember the year. 
The name of the Ar person is Carlinius. What's the name? Carlinius. Carlinius in 17th century, 1735. You just remember 17th century. What did he do? He did, he did two things, two important things, okay? One of the things he did, he grouped living organism and named them. What did he do? Name them. He grouped organism and named them. Firstly, he grouped the organisms, he put the organisms into different categories, and then he named the organisms, okay? Now, his grouping system, the way he grouped that system, that whole system is called as linear classification system or linear system of classification. Is this a clear? Yes. yes. So, Ayan, are you listening carefully? Because all the students going to kill you if you answer wrong. Yeah, I might be six uh, tomorrow. <laughs> okay. His system, okay, his grouping system is called linear system of classification, okay? But his naming system, okay, the way he named organism, the name is very fancy. Can you all read, please? <laughs> Excellent. Binomial nomenclature. The name is binomial nomenclature. Guys, binomial nomenclature. <laughs> Yeah. Binomial nomenclature. Excellent. Binomial nomenclature. Excellent. Now, guys, I can bet, I can bet with you that in IGCSE, there will be a question from these two topics. There will be for sure. Yeah, okay. okay. From these two topics, for sure there will be. Okay. So the grouping system is, what's the name of the grouping system, Fahad? Binomial. Binomial. Everyone is Fahad. Binomial. Everyone becomes Fahad. I didn't know there are so many Fahad in my class. My bad. <laughs> okay. Yes, Fahad, please tell me. What's the name uh, of the grouping system? Uh, linear system of classification. Excellent. And what's the name of the naming system, Mary? Yeah, it's already there. Binomial. Normal. Clature, excellent job. Okay, now let's see what are they. Wait, no, no, no. The thing is, oh, here wait. is the question, guys. Here is the question, and Aman and Fatima are going to answer this, okay? Why he created these systems? What was the need? Because he needed the categories of the animals and the names. Yes, to what, group what, them what, so it's easier for us to understand. Okay, yeah. it's easier for us to understand. Aman, what do you think? Yeah. What? Okay. No, like they have a category and they will have a name for us to call. Okay. So we see. can easily identify them. Easily identify. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Here. Just to torture us, guys. This is the answer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. oh yeah. Yeah, this is the right one. Okay, keep this thing in mind. There was no need to create it. We were living happily life, but they cannot see us happy. Now, here's the story. But, but the real answer is, the real answer is here. What is onion called in your country, guys? I know that onion. we all belong to different countries. Onion in English is called onion. What is it called in different countries? Let me tell you the names. You, if you agree, please thumbs up. Okay, please show me a thumbs up. Do you think that in Chinese, okay, in Chinese, onion is called yang chong? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah, but I don't know Chinese. Because <laughs> okay. I don't know. Okay, in Thai. In I know Thai, like half Chinese. In, in Thai, onion is called this. Do you agree? Yes. Yes. 100%. Yeah. Excellent. In, in Persian, in Persian, onion is called this. Yes, teacher. Yes. Excellent job. And in Arabic, Arabian, uh, onion is called this. Okay. Okay. Yes, okay. Now see here. Yes. Please, please. Guys, this concept is important. And maybe we're going to wind up. Mm, yeah. no, not wind up yet. Yes, wind up on this concept. Now, please, please, Aman, Fatima, everyone, pay attention. Ayan, especially you. Do yes. you believe that there are different scientists in different countries? China have scientists? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Thailand have scientists? Yes. yes. USA have scientists? Yes. 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 All the scientists have their own languages, their own languages. Yeah. Now, I yes. will tell you a story. There was a person, okay? Please remember this story. There was a scientist, yes. okay? There was a scientist who belonged to, I think, Switzerland or something, a country like this. And he went, he came to Asia. 
okay? When he came to Asia, he wanted to find an onion, okay? He went, let's suppose he go to China and he was saying, do you have an onion? Do you have an onion? And no one understand. They were like, well, what onion? Because Chinese people don't know that onion is called an onion. They, they know that it is called yang chong. Then he came to Thailand. He said, do you have an onion? Do you have an onion? Because he was a scientist who was doing a research on onion. Okay. So okay. the Thai people said, midai, midai, we don't know. Okay. <laughs> now, yes. when, when, he, when he went to, let's suppose, when he went to Iran, he said, do you know onion? They said, no, no, we don't know. Like, what are you saying? Okay. Arab, uh, in Saudi Arabia, the same thing happens. Okay. The scientist was like, oh, bro, what are we going to do? The same thing next year, a Chinese scientist went to USA and he said, do you know Yong Chong, Yong Chong, Yong Chong? They said, no, bro, who are you? Yes. We don't know. What is Yong Chong? Okay. Yes. Over there, there was a and smart... They should have just used Google Translate. Exactly. But yes. at that time, at that time, just imagine 17th century, no Google Translate was there. Okay. But so, this scientist, so please, please. Now, this scientist, Carl Linnaeus, when he saw this problem, he was like, and this problem was occurred when scientists have to work in. Normal people, they don't care. But when scientists have to work, if they have to pass a theory, if they want to bring their work internationally or publicly, all the scientists of the world or majority scientists should agree on that word, work, okay? Mm, now what yes. happened when he was presenting the theory of onion, none of the scientists in China, Thai, Thailand, Iran, Ar Arabia, they didn't understand. They said, bro, we don't know your language. So all the scientists, they sit together and they said, we should have our language so that when we communicate, we should know that what we are talking about. So they made English. Oh. Okay. That was the yes. reason why. That was the reason why Carl Linnaeus, he named different organisms specially. Is this point clear? Yes. Okay. Sure, thumbs up. Yes. Please show me thumbs up for this concept. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Okay, Ayan, no thumbs up. Lamin, no thumbs up. Thumbs up, thumbs up. Yes. Okay, thumbs up, thumbs up. Okay, now here. So, can you read this one? As scientists belong to different regions of the world and speak different languages, so they come up with common names to not get confused common? or messed up. Common names mean that all of them could know that name. Let's suppose. Yes. Okay, yes. These names are called scientific names. What are they called? Scientific. 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 And, exactly. And the system through which they give this name is called as binomial nomenclature. Yeah. And who was the Bi owner of binomial, binomial nomenclature? What was the name of the scientist? Who was the Carl owner? Carl 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 Linus. Carl Linus. Excellent job. Marvelous. Now, see, 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 guys. Do you do you want to know what is the scientific name of onion? It's here. It is called Allium Sepa. Sure. Allium Sepa. Yes. If you go to not Look, we don't understand. If you come to me and say, teacher Zainab, can I get allium sepa? I will not understand. But if you go to scientists and you say allium sepa, they will quickly, all the scientists in the world, they will understand that you will you are talking about onion. Is this point clear? Yes. yes. Okay. Now, what is yes. the, what, what, what's the name of humans? A scientific name. Of, what's the name? Please come. Homo sapiens. Excellent. Homo oh. sapiens. Yeah. Okay. So when scientists, they sit down. What? what? Homo, Homo sapiens. I, I will write the name, Laman. Don't worry. Okay. 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 Now see here. When scientists come together, they, know, they, they never use the word human. Oh, human have this. No, they say Homo sapiens have this. So th these are the special names. Now the thing is, do you think that the names which our parents have given us, do you think they have some special meanings? Yes. yes exactly all the names have meaning to it isn't it yes. yes exactly yes for example for example if my first name is binte so this binte word means in arabic daughter okay okay yes so this means all the names yes. in the same way scientific names give us a lot of information they also have yeah. meanings to it is this point clear yes, yes. please yes. show me thumbs up if this is clear thumbs up thumbs up Thumbs up, thumbs up, yes. Excellent, okay, excellent job. So, so guys, okay, in simple English, we can say that scientists have their own language. Can I say that? Yes. 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 What's that? Please, all of you. Homework, Homework to be done. 
language name okay and homo sapiens is a scientific name so this is your one example onion is a normal english and then allium sepa is scientific name like this so you have to write 12 of them oh, okay yes okay so okay the scientist name that you said? sorry come again aman the scientist name that you just they said write in your language that's why in your language you can write it i'll write in uh, arabic oh come on no it should be in english okay now listen here guys if if okay listen not if it is an organism oh my lord wait 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 aman ayan what you guys have to do all of you lamin fahad you have to do it if you want to do on paper and a pencil up to you if you want to do on word document jamboard whichever app you want to do do it there but take a picture and post on google classroom not yeah, what we have to do ah lamin now wake up lamin uh, lamin why you always wake up 5 minutes late <laughs> i don't know what what's the reason okay now listen here lamin you have to write 12 scientific names of different organism you can google them for example when you write on google what is the scientific name of um, frog it will say rana tigrina so this is the first oh, okay, example okay okay, okay. But, okay you you can do it on paper you can do whichever app you want but post on google classroom not on whatsapp group chat okay Yes, okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, or okay. I will. I will. I will. Google Classroom. Or I will post this question, and you can put your pictures down there by taking the picture. Okay. And yes. Okay. Yes. Yes, guys. Okay. Any question, guys? Was it interesting yeah. today? Please show me thumbs yes, up. Yes. Today's lecture was interesting. It was. Yes. It was. It was. I also like this. Okay. Excellent. Sure. Ayan. 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 Yeah. No. Why it's not interesting for question. you? I have a question. Yes. Yes. Please go ahead. Can you go back where you were saying his grouping system is called blah blah blah? I don't know what's the name. I want okay. to write it. Grouping system is called this one. Okay. Yeah. This slide. Wait. Yeah. I'll just write it quick. Linear system of classification by normal. Yes, Ayan. What's what's your Ayan? What's your question here? No, I just wanted to write it. Okay. 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 By the way, if you want to see this PowerPoint slide, it's on Google Classroom. You can go and check it out. Oh, yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, guys. Okay. Now, any any questions up till here? Any one of you? Mm, no. No. Excellent job. Okay, okay, remember, so you asked one thing. The book. Yeah, yesterday. The book. I'm the coming one. to that. I am coming to that, guys. No, the book. Okay. The, it it was of chemistry, Aman, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Today I'm giving giving the biology one, but it is only for Ayan. Ayan will answer all the questions in the next class if he answers right. No, no, then... they will pass. Okay, okay. So so I won't get no, no, no. Here, point. Ayan, not only you, Ayan. You can ask. You can ask one question from each person. Okay. One question oh, from each okay. person. Listen to here. That's one person from each question, but it should be from the lecturer. If they answer it right. You will get a score. If they answer wrong, you will not get a score. Oh, I, I'm crazy. <laughs> okay. So let's suppose. Let's suppose if Ayan asks a question from Fatima. Fatima, please tell binomial nomenclature. If Fatima says right, Ayan will get one point. If he wrong, then no point. Okay. I like a simple question. What is onion and what is yeah? What is the onion? I don't know how. What is onion? Oh, okay. I I am also here. Okay. I am I am here. Ayan, hello. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, guys. I really hope that you enjoy the class. We have uh, four minutes left. If you guys have any questions, please ask me right away. We are yeah. not doing the chemistry test. Not not today in the chemistry class. In the next chemistry class. Oh. Yes. Oh. yes. Okay. Oh, no, and trying. there will for sure there will be. They, now I'm telling again, huh? Don't be late. There will be a quiz uploaded for biology today. When and we just today today and for chemistry don't forget to do the quizzes if you haven't done yes did i did this check the chemistry uh, answers I submitted of mine. yesterday okay today i will complete checking and i will send back the scores okay